right, this is a relationship reading. It should be to the point. But we will see. The Ten of Swords, which is endings, exhaustion, or restriction. We have the Three of Cups in reverse, so no friendship or celebration. We have the Moon with emotional turmoil and secrets. We have the Devil in reverse with no inner demons or being unfaithful. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, with not a dependable person, no caution, and no tradition here. We do have the Chariot here, with direction or being pulled in two different directions. So let's see. Alright, so relationship as of now, we have rejection, we have poppy, we have flattery, we have $500, we have garland, and we have... Um, um, hypocrisy or kind of like a petty move. I think somebody did it like a petty move or something. Um, your feelings. We have cock blocked. We have hand screen. We have failure. We have a mountain to move. We have an artichoke, and we have pop the question. So something came up, and then you're kind of like, I don't know what I should do. I'm going to wait for a sign. And then your partner's feelings is um, $1,000, $2, higher purpose of a single DM. We have an earwig or an earworm. We have... Less than two weeks away, we have a vulture circling. So there could be another person around you that your partner thinks is going to like make their move pretty soon if they don't make a move. Um, the obstacles and blocks here are a Jezebel energy. That's a third party. We have an open door. We have unequal um, power dynamics. We have $5,000. We have a utopia and we have a cup overflow. Um, so somebody could be living pretty well. And we have a new approach. We have destruction. We have a horseman. We have three eggs in a basket. We have a sleeping spell. We have a um, somebody who is Clarence Audio or Clarence um, Sight. Cla Clarence Sight is mostly when you hear music or something, or you hear something that um, will be conveniently going with this particular thing. We also have Innocence and Purity here of somebody who's being viewed. And then we have Potential Future. We have commute, we have toxic relationships, we have married, we have demon attachment, we have DM and DF meeting, and we have a Dothraki box. That's that little Jewish lady that lives in a box. Um, she casts spells and misfortune if you open the box and you don't have gold or silver for her. Um, I have one of those boxes, actually. My witch hasn't come out of the box, and it takes care of any other curses or people sending spells my way and stuff like that. So I had to get one. So <laughs> she worked, she does her job well. So um, hopefully this helps somebody out. Um, I, I do feel like there's going to be a lot of bad things sent your way because you're around this person, and this person coming in might not realize that they have a entity attached to them or they have some type of entity that's going to haunt this relationship. I don't think they know that yet. So that could be an interesting topic of conversation. Like why do you have entities attached to you every time I talk to you and then bad things happen, you know? I don't know. 
but you have to kind of set boundaries with that everybody that's involved in your life and within your relationship life so it's one of those type things anyway hopefully this helps somebody out and i will see you in the next reading all right later